We have the potential to be the cruelest force on this planet, and it can be rightfully easily argued that we continue to be the cruelest, most cutthroat force on this planet. We also have the potential to be the most compassionate force on this planet. When we live in a way that violence is no longer considered acceptable, which is the reality in first world countries, people find new ways to exude social power to spread misery and a sense of having conquered people. When we don't keep this sort of thing in check, which we haven't been doing when it comes to the way we do things online, it starts to become a social phenomenon. Being overly harsh and cruel and mean in nature is something that should be left to humor, to comedy, to consensual roastings and fun social games. But when we bring that cruelness and meanness into the way we get used to communicating with people, whether it's online or not, we quite literally become less tolerant more stubborn, and less willing to learn because we're too busy acting like shock jock radio personalities. I can understand someone wanting a place to vent and get out their frustrations and be mean and celebrate the negative sides to us so they can go back to being more positive later, and under the right platform do it in a way that's almost like a sport, and everyone involved knows exactly what they're doing when it comes to getting their emotions out. And again, I can understand doing it purely for the humor as long as it isn't trying to pretend it's for any deeper reason than just humor. This is why I actually have a lot more respect for the channels that roast random people on the internet that don't try to pretend it's for anything other than humor. When people who make YouTube videos for money try to say that they make these ponage roasting videos to make the world a better place by tackling issues. It's one of the most dishonest, disingenuous things they could possibly claim. It's a blatant lie. Your lie is so fat. If it's not a blatant lie, then it's someone who doesn't understand their own intentions, and that makes it even worse. I respect what Gluteus does an almost infinite amount more than I can those like Undoomed, Autopsy 87, Bearing, and many, many others. And this is because he doesn't make up bullshit excuses for why he's doing what he's doing. And so when it comes to people being mean for the sake of being mean, and they try to pass it off as trying to be insightful and helpful, and they do this in places that are supposed to be actual discussions and people trying to expand their views on things, it just doesn't make any sense. It's a toxic attitude because it's perpetuating a lie about intent. We need to be able to learn how to be better people, not be more like a shock jock radio personality. Do we all want to be more like shock jock radio personalities? Does that really benefit us? Does it make us more open-minded? I think you already know the answer to that. It is things like this philosophy that is becoming more and more popular. This philosophy of cruelness that lies about its intentions. It's things like this that change how we act and think in our society. It's not video games. It's not those movies that try to make sure we keep supporting the status quo so it's easier for companies to know how to make money. It's not Dungeons and Dragons. It's not the religious character Satan. But it's the habits we start to regularly have when we converse with others, whether it's online or not. There are very few things that are more important to hold our society together than our ability to treat each other decently. Sure, we can disagree all the way down the line and we can discuss our disagreements, but when we start to lose our ability to treat others decently out of celebrating cruelness in the name of trying to make an argument, we are on a decline. If we actually fully lose that, we are done as a civilization. We're back to Lord of the Flies, and we can't survive that. And I hope we don't go there. And this applies to all sides. We will basically devour ourselves if we allow our society to completely lose that. And it will very much represent the results of when too many rats are put into a cage.